thanks for joining us, Michael. Um, I mentioned Dave Hallam's um, ponytail, whatever you called it last week when we had him on the channel. You've gone and yeah. beaten Dave Hallam. Where was Listen, that? Dave, I'll, I'll be me, Steve, I'm telling you. I've had this from not even, not even halfway through lockdown, I started to do it. So it's getting longer and longer and longer. And, and, and you know what? I like it. I may keep it. And that's, that's it. Oh, no, I can't see your dad letting that stay for too long. <laughs> I don't no, really. what he's saying. Oh, my dad, my dad. He, he doesn't mind. He's long hair, but he's, he's telling me I need to get a cut. <laughs> so, you're in good spirits there, but it must have been frustrating having trained and St. Patrick's stage was just taken away from you, you know, by circumstances out of your control. Yeah, listen, I was, I was frustrated for about 10 minutes, if I'm honest. And then I thought about it and says, nothing I can do. Um, no point to being upset about it because it's just wasting energy. Um, and like, doing anything you can't get your frustrated when you start to think about it is like, you didn't put the work in, you didn't get paid. And that's, that's the only frustrating thing, you know what I mean? You put all that 10 weeks work in. And if you think about that and you start to dwell on that, yes, you'll probably find that frustration creeping back, but I kind of just took the mindset that everybody else is in the same position as me. Um, everybody else is uh, uh, like, there's people an awful lot worse than me, like out of jobs and, you know, losing their houses and stuff because they have no way to be able to pay for what, what they have. And, uh, and I'm very fortunate to be in a good position. So I kind of, that was the kind of mindset uh, and outlook I took on it right away and, and tried to kind of structure my mind to, to play it like that, do you know what I mean? Yeah, you, um, you always very busy as an amateur. I think you boxed five times in 2017, five times 2018. You had only had three outings last year, which is quiet by what your standards have been. But obviously, you were moving up to 10 round and championship fights. When was the last yeah. time you went seven months without having a fight? I don't know. I don't know. This is the longest I've been off in my life, just from the end of that that their training camp and the St. Patrick's Day until now. It's the longest I've been out of the ring and at home. And you know what? I've loved every minute of it. This has been fantastic. Um, I haven't stopped training. I'm a non-stop, as you can see. I'm, I'm in fantastic shape, Steve. You're looking but, brilliant. Um, I, I'm in great shape. I, I've, I, I feel that I'll be one of the fighters who will come out of this and have benefited fantastically. My weight is better than what it's ever been. And that's because everything has just been normal and I've been a normal human being so I'm not overeating. I'm not like trying to get as much food places and, and food in as possible before I start back training camp because there was no time <laughs> there was no time limit on anything so I can't, everything kind of came normal so my weight is like better than what it's ever been and usually when I start training camp the first four weeks is let's get this weight under control because it's, it's always a very high so you know um, that's something I'm really happy with my fitness and my strength is, is better than it's ever been because I've just been consistent on my runs and on my strength and conditioning. And then over the last four weeks, five weeks, I've been, I've been just doing loads of pod work and, and bag work with my dad. I've got a gym in my garage, so I'm able just to go in there and train. And this week, my coach has come over. Um, the flights are the easy jets back plan. So Adam's over for the week to do some work with me and then I head back over to England next week. Well, when, you, when you leave for England and go back over to Adam, Adam's um, new, new gym or newish gym that you've moved to, um, what's it going to be like you know, leaving your family, having been with them for so long? As you said, you haven't ever been with this long. And, like, you know, you delayed this interview an hour because you wanted to put your little boy to bed, you know. So, it's tough. It's going to be very tough. Um... For me, always, always when I'm when I'm going back to training camp, that's the hardest part. When, like, my daughter used to stand in front of the door crying, "Don't leave, don't leave, don't leave." And I remember getting into the car to drive down to the docks to get my get the boat over with the car, and I was crying in the car just because it broke my heart that much. And I'll be honest, I'm not going to sit here and pretend I'm a hard one and I have to go back and do this and do that. I love my family. I love being around my family, and the fact that I have to sacrifice so much to be away from them. Just makes me hungrier, makes me want to succeed more, you know, makes me want to make everything worthwhile. So when I'm in training camp and when I'm there, I have to give it a thousand percent because you know I can't be I can't be being away from them and missing very, very important parts of their lives for nothing nothing to come of it. 
So when will you be back in? in yeah, obviously you're going back to um, London yeah. seems next week. Are you going to be boxing yeah. on this behind closed doors show that Carl's going on, or? Hundred percent. I think I think um, Top Rank want want me out in early August. Um, whether it's UK or US, I'm unsure. Um, if it's, I wouldn't mind going to Vegas for the month, self quarantine, for yeah. say for a week or, or something, whatever you have to do, and be in Vegas or in the heat. But um, if it's if it's the UK, you no, know, I'm happy as well. I, I'm, I feel that you no, know, I, I can take a good fight here. Um, I want to take a good fight here, and and if it's behind closed doors or not, I don't care. I box behind closed doors in the amateurs many a times, and uh, in in empty arenas many a times. So you no, know, it's not going to be anything new to me in the pro game yes because all my fights have been big events and uh, on big cards and on big slots on those cards so um it'll be it will be different as a pro but something that i i feel that you know i'll i'll excel at is it likely to be on one of the london behind closed door shows given what the quarantine is and the flying and yeah i would say so steve i would say so um unsure which one um but you know, eager for any of them. So, how soon did you think you know the, the world title fight might come? Now, are you looking something like Paddy's Day next year? Paddy's Day or December? Um, really, that soon? December? You want it? Yeah. Percent. Listen, I, I want it now. I want. I want it my next fight. But they're saying obviously they want they want them to be able to bring fans to my fight, top rank dude. And they, I think they kind of they were hoping for the feel. Of, um, this year in August to be it but obviously the feel is not happening this year because of yeah. coronavirus look lately but that's that's when it would have been um, if I had I got the St. Patrick's Day fight out of the way um, so you know I would say you know December or, or St. Paddy's Day you can see me in the ring for a world title and 100% with no doubt in my mind I'll be world champion yeah I mean fantastic world champions Gary Russell Leo Santa Cruz Shackle Stevenson but the one that seems to have the ingredients is yourself yeah. challenging the IBF champion, Josh Warrington, you know, you, you, with Styles Clash. Yeah. You know, and it's that the England-Ireland rivalry you can't get away from. It adds more spice to it. That's got a, that's the most critical one, surely. It has so much ingredients. If you look at it, like, the farm bases, we both have fantastic yeah. farms um, who are loud, very loud. Um, both crazy fan bases and make crash. You know what I mean? It makes, brings even more attention, so it's good, yeah. you know what I mean? Um, and then at the same time, Josh loves a bit of talking. You know, I haven't had anybody talking yet. How do you know I'm going to react to that? I don't know, but you know, it's something that I'm excited for. Um, and someone you know, who I have the utmost respect for is him and his father. You know, I, I think you know, they're, they're great people. They're, his father, Sean's a great coach and, and a great guy, a funny guy. Um, doesn't get the credit he deserves, if I'm honest. I read an article on the day and I was really, I, I really enjoyed it. So it was very good. But he, they have, they're very smart. They have great tactics. Um, you can see it against Frampton, against against Selby, how, how they've done things. And you know, people, some a lot of people underestimate him and think he's just you know a come flow forward brawler. But he's not. He's much more than that. Uh, and that's something that I'm happy that I see and I'm happy that I give credit for because I know it's there and I know what I have to do to beat that. And, a hundred percent, I know, and I believe I will beat that um, when we do face, if we do face. Um, but it's definitely one that you know whets the appetite, and uh, one that you know I would, I would, I would love to have. And it's his, his manager's channel, Steve Wood. So you know, it's it, it would be fantastic. You know, me versus Josh at, at some stage in the future. I mean, and of course, there's also been the you know another super fight is of course Shackle Stevenson. But I, I shouldn't think Top Rank are playing a new and Shackle to. Me too soon. Oh, listen, they, 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 Top Rank have their plans and they know what they're doing. Um, it seems now that Chukur has moved up to 130 or is going to move up to one. Be, yeah. a, pos a possibility. So, you know, I, I can definitely see us clashing down, down the path where we were supposed to face each other in 2016. Um, after they would have been the fight after I got robbed. So, it would have been the semi finals and uh, you know, it would have been fantastic. And I believe I would have won. So, no, it's, it's definitely one that I would, I, I would love to have in the future. And if they kept avoiding you, you've got, you're moving up the rankings. You're going to have, a man, I think you're mandatory for Shakur and you're six with the BF, three with the BA and I think is it yeah. top ten with the BC. 
You know, you're in yeah. the mandatory for everyone else sooner or later, won't you? I know. No, no, I'm coming for everything and everyone. Um, I, I, I'm happy with how, how we moved. And, and I think, you know, it's testament to the top rank. We've took the right steps at the right time and moved in at, at the right pace, I believe. And, and, you know, got some nice wins on, 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 the, on my belt on the way. So, you know, it's all about every little step needs to be, you know, the right step. And I, I believe I've done that so far. And I believe... I'm unsure what way the next one will work. Obviously, coming out of coronavirus season and and how people will be, you know, ready to fade or who's going to be ready to fade or whatever way it's going to work. So for opponents and you know, I know probably be hard to be getting opponents in and even for me getting spar partners because I like to bring in the South Americans over from sparring and you know I'm not going to. <laughs> it doesn't look like I'll be able to do that for a while. So um, well, it all depends what's next. But you know, I know that I. I'm that much away now, and I just need to be patient and, and, and make the right moves. You touched on the job top rank of um, Dummy. Obviously, you came with the reputation of um, you know the Olympic controversy, being a brilliant amateur, and of course, you know in New York, you've just become um, yeah. a, a star because you know the Irish connection. You know, the, 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 you know you're a true Irishman. They they can get behind there in New York, but. What do you think of the job top rank of W marketing wise to make you a star in thirteen fights? You know, it's it's the reason I say well, and that's to be honest, Steve. Listen, I, I had I had a lot of offers on the table and a lot of money on the table, but you know, when you looked at the plan top rank came up with uh, uh, and what they've done in the past, you know, you look at PBC, so to say, and, and you say, who have they kind of generated into a star? from the start. And the only person you can say on that is Gervonta Davis. Other than that, who is there? Um, who's Golden Boy done it with? Bar Canelo. You know what I mean? So, top rank have done it time, time again. They have your Mayweather, De La Hoya, you know, Pacquiao, Cotto, everyone. They, they, just, they just know how to turn great fighters into global fighters and superstars. Uh, and that was one of the reasons the same. I mean, then even look at my debut. Who has, who has a debut, a six-round debut in main event? <laughs> Regarding a six round fight with bloody Conor McGregor walking in, all they, 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 they. <laughs> so obviously, if you, just final question if you get your world title fight, would the dream for it to be upstairs at Madison Square Garden? 100%. If it's, if it's the garden or the false park, you know, one of the two is the either or, either or I, I would love. Um, but if I was to fight Josh Warrington, now I would love to fight Josh Warrington in the big room. And Master Square Garden, right. and I know yeah. he's want. I know he wants that ticket to the the US of A. So you know, I think me versus Warrington in, in in MSG big room would be fantastic, and I reckon we could sell it out too. Mike, thanks very much for talking to us tonight, and uh, I'm sure Josh will see this. We'll get we'll get him back, and it's nice that you you know you're gonna you've got such a rivalry, but you speak with such a respect for him. Of course, of course, you have to, and. One thing, listen, I see a lot of fighters, and, and I think he would even be the same as this. He would say the same as me. A lot of fighters create this fake bullshit and, and, and you know, talking crap about other people. I don't need to talk crap. I have the utmost respect for Josh, um, his ability and what he's achieved. He's achieved so much more than what was ever expected of him. And, and then the, the respect I have for his father because the, he's, he is a brain in boxing, which you know, I think a lot of people underestimate and so is Josh. Josh is implementing what he's telling them to do. So for the both of them, their their ability in the sport is fantastic and I, I do have great respect for them and, and to face them would be fantastic for them. For all boxing, info, news and latest interviews, amateur and pro, across and off, click and subscribe. VIP boxing promotions. Also Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.